I found the best approach is not to compartmentalize your life. I, I don't know whether it's just me personally that how I'm wired, but I find dividing your life up into different compartments uh, to actually be unhelpful and, and work against what you are legitimately trying to achieve. Um, so life is, is, is ministry, ministry is life as, as I understand it. So my role as a, as a husband is, is in the context of ministry. Our marriage is about ministry. Um, having four kids, bringing them up in the context of ministry uh, was itself uh, a, a, a gospel initiative. Uh, it was a way of, of commending Christ, of Jesus being Lord of our family and showing uh, our friends, our neighbours and our kids' friends uh, what that actually meant as being something that was hopefully be attractive to, to others. Um, and now, now that doesn't mean to say that when you say life is ministry and ministry is life that you're on it 24-7 uh, in the sense of your work, but it does mean that you are living your whole life in... With, in a holistic way, uh, that it is centered around the gospel. And that means that sometimes you're going to give time to your, your, your kids. Sometimes you're going to go out of the home to pursue other things. Um, and you're going to have to make good choices about that. You, you, your children should never feel like they're uh, abandoned or somehow uh, second rate, uh, that you've got time for them when you don't, when you don't have other people occupying your time. Um, so one of the simple ways that we did that was that I ensured that the door to my office was always open to my children. And when mobile phones became uh, the norm, I made sure that whenever they call me that I always answer. In fact, even though they're grown up now, I always make sure that I answer the phone to them, that they're important to me, that they're my primary uh, mission field. That's as they were growing up. Um, and I think that's absolutely critical. So quite simply, don't com compartmentalize your life. Uh, build it all around the gospel and then uh, live appropriately where there is uh, need and opportunity.